Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shelby. Um, I have my candle empties for the month of October. Um, I have quite a few candles. <laughs> I know the past couple months I've not had many, but this month I went through some candles. So um, let's go with the non Bath and Body Works first, and then I'll work my way through. Um, so first I have a um, little gain. Febreze candle um it is in moonlight breeze I thought this was nice um it was fine it um smelt good yeah like not my favorite but I am trying to work through all of my non bath and body works ones slowly um so yeah not my favorite I don't think I would repurchase um but it did the job and then I got this at my cousin's baby shower um it's sweater weather um and a little candle um it's in lima united by love um so yeah this smelled very good like i like this sweater weather better than the bath and body Works sweater weather and bath and body Works sweater weather is one of my favorite candles so that's saying something it just had like more of like like a man <laughs> no I don't know um yeah I really enjoyed that then well, let's go through my three wicks first I guess um I have harvest gathering um this is fresh picked apple autumn berries and clove buds um I did really like this it was very strong on the clove but the apple and the berries kind of balanced it out so that was nice um I enjoyed it um I used to give ratings should I still give ratings out of 10 I would maybe give that like a six yeah. sorry um and then dark amber and oud um I don't know why it's not focused there it goes um dark amber and oud this is uh dark gold amber fresh rainwater and oud uh wood and I love this candle these ones in this packaging that they have right now like my absolute favorite right now um I have this candle going um as I'm filming this I have a second one of these and yeah I thoroughly enjoy it I will probably repurchase these I would give this like an eight or nine out of ten which is a pretty good rating, I would say. Um, rain drenched leaves. Um, I also really enjoyed this one. It's rain, fresh rainwater, eucalyptus leaves, and a touch of oak moss. Um, it was more of like the naturey smell, um, and I really like it. It did smell like after a rain has happened, like in the fall, when you go out and the leaves are wet still, like that is the vibe this is giving um it smelled very good and i would probably repurchase this i would give this like a 7 out of 10. then black teakwood um this is one of my favorites um like all-time favorite will continue to repurchase time and time again it's rich mahogany black teakwood dark oak and frosted lavender i prefer this over mahogany teakwood um, even though they have very similar notes, very similar smell, this is just, there's something different in it. I think it's the lavender that just makes it more, like, calming and not so overpowering. So, I will continue to repurchase that. Then I have, um, Honeycrisp Apple. Um, this one I think is last year's. Um, it's Golden Honeycrisp Apple Blossom and Fresh Sugar Cane. Um, I really like um the like clean apple smell that this is um i am not a pumpkin person for fall i am very much like apple and i don't want like cinnamon apple pie i want like fresh clean apple like nature's apple like out in the woods berry picking apple picking like I will do like the berry vibe in there, pomegranate maybe even, but apple, like I, I want it to be pure apple and that's the vibe that this gave. This gave like fresh picked 
apple. So I really liked that one. Um, I would give that an 8 out of 10. Going along with apple, I have apple weather. Um, again, this is like very much a fresh, crisp apple. It's fresh farm stand apples, lavender leaves, and cinnamon bark. The cinnamon is not strong in this. There's like the ever little bit slightest tinge of cinnamon. Um, it's mostly the apple with a hint of lavender. Um, I really like this one. It's a fresh lavender, not lavender, fresh apple smell. Um, and I like that a lot. And then another apple um, is mahogany apple. This is Draco Malfoy. If you know, you know. Um, and it is rich mahogany woods, golden delicious apple, pink peppercorn, fresh lavender sprigs. Um, and mahogany apple to me smells like if you mixed black teak wood and apple weather. Like if you mix the two of those, that is mahogany apple. Um, I really like that smell. Um, I like it because it's got the masculine of the like mahogany and teakwood vibes um, with like the fresh apple um, and I really like that smell. So it's one that I continue to purchase every every year in the fall um, and will probably always purchase in the fall. Um, and then I have sweater weather. Um, so the notes are not on the bottom of this one. They went for like that short period of time where they didn't put notes on the bottom and I'm hoping to finish off all of those candles that don't have notes because I like sharing the notes with you guys um I like sweater weather um I would give this probably a seven um yeah I fall candles are my favorite so these are all gonna get higher ratings um but yeah for sure a seven and then um I didn't rate mahogany apple. Um, I would give mahogany apple like an eight or nine uh, because it's my favorite. But sweater weather is like a go-to. I have like my very set go-tos that I have for fall. Um, and like honey crisp apple or apple weather, mahogany apple, um, sweater weather. Uh, where? What's the other one? Sweater weather, black teak wood and uh flannel like those are kind of all my fall um candle vibes that i enjoy so those have very much been what i've been burning um and then my last candle for this is another um black or dark amber and oud um again i read you the notes so i'm not gonna read them again um but like i said this candle is so good. It's so strong. It's so like masculine <laughs> and I really enjoy it. So yeah, I like it just as much as I liked the three wick because it's so strong. It's got that powerful throw that it can, you can have it in a one wick or a three wick and it's going to throw pretty much the same, um, which is awesome. But yeah, those are my candle empties for the month of October. Um, Go check out my other empties video and um, check out my other videos. I have a few book videos out um, and then I do have a candle inventory that will be coming out. Um, I think after this video, sometime within the week after this video, the candle inventory will be coming out. So keep your eyes peeled for that because um, yeah, I have a good size, not like crazy huge like it's less than probably 50 at this point um but I've seen people with like 200 candles in their inventory and that is not me but I have a good sized inventory and a variety so um yeah check out that video and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video peace